To make a long story short, I screwed up big time. I have been with my partner for six years, three of them married. I never once felt the need to seek out other men or even cared to even interact with anyone else until this past year. My parents divorced about two years ago and I haven't talked to my father since. He is a very narcissistic and manipulative person and I am scared that as I am getting older, I am picking up on his habits. I don't want to be like him at all. But recently this past year, something in me changed. I thought it may have been my birth control and the hormones, so I stopped taking it, but it's almost like it got worse. At the beginning of this year, I confessed to having a crush on a coworker to my husband, but I didn't have any attraction to the person. It was more of an attraction to the attention I was getting that I felt like I lacked from my husband. Several months later, I began talking to another guy behind my husband's back. For me, it was just a friendship. I was seeking out advice and attention in all the wrong places. This person and I never developed a relationship and I never had any feelings for them, but I got so captivated in the high of sneaking around and talking to this person that I began lying to my husband even more. Deep down, I wanted to stop. I wanted to cut this friendship off and focus on my marriage, but I couldn't until I was caught, which eventually I was one night when I lied to my husband and went to this person's house. It's like I knew I would get caught eventually, and I wanted to, but at the same time, I wasn't ready to change. I liked the feeling of freedom. On top of this, I began to hang out with a group of girls that were single, liked to party, liked to have fun. Not to mention, I got married at 17, so it's like I felt like I needed to make up for my youth and see what I was missing out on. So I began to put these friends in front of my marriage and devote my time to them instead of my husband which was another huge mistake that I failed to realize at the time because I was so caught up in myself and in the high of independence. Then recently, an old acquaintance from high school reached out to one of my girlfriends and asked for my number. I agreed to let him have it, not thinking anything would come from it. I began talking to this person pretty frequently and agreed to meet up for lunch once, then shortly after agreed to hang out with him twice. I made it clear to him that I was married and seek nothing more than friendship and advice. But still, for some reason, I continued to talk to him, knowing my husband wouldn't like it, and that I needed to go home and water my grass instead of devoting my attention elsewhere. Eventually, I was caught again. I invited this person over to my mom's while she was out of town, and I was dog-sitting for her. For the record, I have never once physically cheated on my husband or even considered it, some may say I had an emotional affair, but it was never anything more. I love my husband. I really do. He is my best friend, and I wish I knew why I did this to him. It's almost like I was watching over myself and had no control. I want to fix myself. I want to change. I want to fix my marriage. I have already lost all contact with this other guy. I do not have contact with any other men. I have distanced myself from my friends and explained to them I need to focus on my marriage and fix it. My husband hates me, which he has every right to. He wants a divorce, but I don't. I want to win his love back and be the person he fell in love with again. I am receiving religious and medical help now, trying to figure out this problem I have within myself. I do not want to wake up one day and be served with divorce papers. I don't know how to keep my husband from divorcing me. He deserves better, and I want to be that better for him. I understand it is going to take time for the trust to even be considered, but I am willing to do whatever it takes. How can one get married at 17? That can't be a legal marriage. You got married too early. You missed a huge chunk of your childhood, the formative years. I'm guessing you come from an unstable family because I can't imagine any proper parent would sit by back and watch their literal child getting married. You are probably more or less a child. You lost a lot of your childhood trying to make an adult marriage out of a teen love situation. You're right when you said you had to make up for your lost youth. Unfortunately, the way you went about it is completely wrong and it hurt another individual so badly. Go get a divorce, go to college, live a life, figure out who you are. There's more to life than marriage or romance. Now for comments, I see no evidence of love for your husband in this story. It is all about you and your desire for independence. Independence from him. 
You may not have physically cheated, but you definitely engaged in emotional cheating. And because of your deception and lies, it is highly unlikely he will ever believe anything you tell him. You made this situation. At some level, this is what you wanted. He loved you and you betrayed him many times over. If you genuinely care for this man, if you have one iota of genuine affection for him, then you will for once put his happiness before your own gratification and give him the divorce he wants and deserves. Maybe treat your next relationship with more respect. You've been caught in situations twice that would likely lead a reasonable husband to think you are engaging in sex. Doesn't matter if you did or didn't, as you've shown him that you are dishonest and can't be trusted. How do you move forward? What have you done to focus on your husband and helping him heal? What have you done other than say that you want to change or indicate that it was someone else at the rudder of your ship? How have you shown your husband that you're willing to do what it takes to regain his trust? Not words, actions. Story two, sorry this is long as hell, but I'm at a loss. Backstory, we are married and have a two-year-old. She was away for work for a little over six months, entirely across the country. Myself and our toddler came to visit three times during the separation. Now she started going out to clubs with two guys that were 20 and a few of her girlfriends. She's always liked going out and I've had no reason to ever doubt her before. But soon enough, it was every weekend and I'd get a text the next day that she and some of her friends got a hotel as they didn't want to go home at the end of the night. Fast forward, it just gets sketchier, but she eventually finished and came home. The second day she was home, I checked a message pop up from one of the guys I knew she was close with and I saw a text chain of her talking about trying to fuck him and egging him on to go out that night because he had been talking mad game. After a lot of screenshots and fighting, she finally came clean that they cuddled a lot and made out a few times when they were too drunk. She maintains that they never had sex. Due to the screenshots, I called her roommate at the work location and she said that my wife and the kid had fucked around while she was in the room even. Wife refuses to say it happened. I decided to try and make this work even though I feel that she's still hiding details. Now she's currently on a business trip again, only for a month this time, but she's already partying every weekend again with new friends. It's a different location. Now every time she's going to go out, she starts a fight about something I said and refuses to talk to me all night until she gets home. Tonight, she started a fight because I asked her very politely to not get too drunk because it makes me extremely uncomfortable due to what happened just a few months ago. Now I'm basically just ranting because I have nobody to turn to. But my whole point of coming here to you all is I have an anxiety disorder and I can't always tell what is a gut feeling, what's my anxiety, or when there's just plain proof in my face. So please, am I being irrational to be upset by her continual partying and blackout drinking while I'm a single father? She doesn't act this way when she's home at all. Do you think she is acting suspiciously? And if so, how do I go about talking to her about this without her gaslighting me? If anyone makes it all the way through this and answers, thank you very much. Frankly, she doesn't seem to care. There were no repercussions the first time around, so there's nothing to prevent her from doing the same thing next time. And she's got the nerve to pick you to get away with it so she can do whatever she wants for the rest of the time without having to keep in touch with you. She's checked out, lost her mind or whatever, but the bottom line is she's gone. You're never getting her back. And that's not such a bad thing after all, considering the state she's in. Plan your exit while she's away. Hire a lawyer and protect your assets. Use the evidence to get more custody so you won't be put in a position to be paying. Don't tell her anything until she gets back and until you've got a plan. Comments. Why would you want to be with someone who willingly hurts you? It's not like she's on this trip and doing everything she can to assure you the cheating won't happen again. This is her big EFU, I'll do what I want, with no consideration to your feelings. If your two-year-old grew up and had a relationship like the one you're describing, what would you tell them? Dump the girl and find someone who isn't so selfish. You need to come to grips that you're married to a cheater and someone who cannot be trusted. Sex or not, she still cheated and betrayed you and your wedding vows. I'm sorry to say, but I can guarantee you that she's being unfaithful on this trip and if not now, then she will be. If I were you, I would get your ducks in a row and start separating your finances. 
Go ahead and start researching good divorce lawyers in your area and consult with one to see what your options are as far as assets and property. Usually the first consultation is free. Then afterwards, when she gets back, tell her that she'll be staying elsewhere and that you two will be separating. Before you do, ask to see her phone and social media messages. If she refuses or hesitates, you'll have your answer. You already have a reason to leave her, so what are you waiting for? People who willingly hurt you and your family don't deserve a second chance. Bro, she cheated and faced no consequences. She was on a path that hurt you. Where are your standards? It doesn't have to be over you, but fuck. The way to handle a cheating wife is consequences before reconciliation. And reconciliation should only come after she does the work to earn back your trust and stays consistent and transparent. To me, that would consist of completely getting off the path that hurt me and leaving everything on it behind, including friends. But nope, you just stayed and swept it under the rug. If it was me, no more business traveling and no more drinking. And it would only mean something to me if she volunteered those two things. Personally, I think you need to accept this and let her go. I would stick to only communicating with her about the kid. Let her do her and she'd be coming home to divorce papers. Don't waste your life on someone who doesn't love you and actively tries to hurt you. Her actions tell you all you need to know. And those actions speak volumes. Cowboy the fuck up, show her the door and invest in self-improvement in your daughter.